Hey, this is John Colo at DiscountJuicers.com today with another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you guys the best juicer ever created and the worst juicer ever created. They have some things in common and they have a lot of things not in common. So stay tuned. You will want to watch this episode if you want to get juicing and get healthy this new year, right? Juicing allows you to concentrate the amount of of especially vegetables, leafy green vegetables, and even fruits that you get into you, into your body. Statistics show that less than 10% of Americans, like 9%, actually eat the recommended servings of vegetables in a day. I think fruit maybe is around 10% of the people eat their enough fruit a day, but fruit's really easy to eat, but vegetables are a lot more complicated. And actually, that's one of the reasons why both the founders of both these companies basically made these machines and started to sell them because both the founders actually wanted the same thing. They want you guys to consume more healthy plant foods, especially the vegetables, leafy greens, and fruits. Each of the founders basically had a little bit different path to get to that goal, and I'm going to say one succeeded <laughs> while the other failed dramatically, all right? So let's go ahead and introduce these two juicers for you guys today. The worst juicer ever created, in my personal opinion, is the Juicero. Yes, this is a real Juicero right here. I own it, <laughs> I bought it, and it's now a doorstop. Um, you know, there are videos with millions of views on the Juicero. I literally have my own videos on the Juicero, links down below if you guys wanna watch that, but there are videos that have millions, 12 million views, one million views on why Juicero is the worst juicer and the worst company, <laughs> um, you know, for Silicon Valley. You know, I'm the number one juicer expert and I'm declaring it the worst juicer. They are now out of business. So, I mean, this juicer will no longer function, you know, and when the Juicero, before it came out, actually, I talked with the founder of Juicero and wanted to learn more about it because I wanted to promote and sell it. Unfortunately, you know, the one thing that I really needed for him to do, he didn't do, so then I never really got involved with Juicero. And the thing I wanted him to do was that uh, make it so that I could put my own produce in there and juice it. And I think that was one of their fatal flaws. Although if they did make it so you could juice anything in here, you know, they would likely still be in business. But then they probably wouldn't have got all the funding they did because one of the reasons why they raised $120 million to create this machine, which is in my opinion, over-engineered. It's because it's, number one, internet connected. Everybody likes the internet of things. You gotta actually have a Wi-Fi connection to actually, for this juicer to work. So pretty much now, I can press this button and the juicer does nothing because there's no pack in there that reads a little QR code and the machine won't even work. One day I hope to open this up and hack it so that I could just basically get it to use this press. And the other reason is because now you have to actually buy the juice packs to make your juice from Juicero. They ranged in price from five to eight dollars and you could only squeeze about eight ounces of juice out of each pack. And meanwhile, Juicero had to create amazing facilities to process food, to make it and turn them into the packs so and then they could mail them and ship them to you, which I personally believe is a very unsustainable business model. In addition, when this machine came out, it was overpriced at $700, which is just too much for the market to bear and I guess they didn't find enough rich people that want to buy the juicer for $700 and then also buy the juice packs and then it didn't help that Bloomberg you know had a video putting a pack in the juice arrow pressing the button and then uh, having the juicer squeeze it up and then they hand squeezed it and you'll see the video right now up on the screen where I did the same thing with the juicer I let the juice arrow work and I hand squeezed the packet and at the same time I basically made pretty much the same amount of juice that the Juicero did. So that was one of the problems with it is that, you know, they designed good packs to basically masticate the produce down enough without oxidation, you know, and I did learn that from the founder of Juicero that you wanna really minimally process the produce to minimize the oxidation and ensure the long-term storability of it before you're pressing it in the Juicero. Now the other issue I have with the Juicero is that it is a, it is a press style machine. So they minimally cut the produce before they put it in the bag. You have to buy the bags from them. You put the bag in here, you shut it and you press the button and then basically the plates basically came and squeezed out the, out of the liquid or the juice out of the bag. Now I'm gonna throw up on the screen right now also 
the comparison between the juice zero juice that came out it was like a carrot based juice you can see kind of like it looks a little bit translucent uh, compared to a juice I made in a traditional auger juicer pretty much the predecessor um, to the NAMA J2 which I consider the best juicer ever created and you can see the juice is much deeper and darker on the auger style juicer that I used in that video and to me the deeper richer color means that there are more phytonutrients and dissolved solids in the juice that is going to nourish your body more in general I'm not a big fan of the press style juicers I believe they leave a lot behind in the pulp and that depends specifically on the pore size of the press cloth or the press bag in the case of the juicero being used and the quality of the juice also depends on how the produce is ground up before you put it in the press so yeah big thumbs down to juicero a company no longer in business they actually only lasted in business for 16 months now the interesting thing about juicero and about the nama company is that both of the founders of these companies were successful businessmen in other businesses in their past and they started both companies once again like i said because they wanted to enable people to drink more fruits and vegetables and get healthier both of them had their own health challenges when they were younger or saw their family members have health challenges and even lose their lives from not eating a healthy diet you know i'm going to say juicero failed because they're no longer in business and anybody that owns one now owns an expensive doorstop like i do but on the other hand let's go ahead and turn over to the best juicer ever created in my personal opinion and this is true as of this video filming it is late 2022 as i'm filming this and unless there's some newer technology that will basically um you know do better than the nama j2 i'm going to say the nama j2 is the best juicer ever created and those are big strong words coming from a guy that's been selling juicers online for over 20 years i've been personally juicing and drinking juice on a regular basis for the last 27 years i am considered the number one world's juicer expert if you doubt that check out my youtube channel i have over 600 videos on juicers i mean my life is spent juicing like every other day or so when i'm not traveling i will make bulk juices and juice a gallon or two gallons at a time so that i could drink and maintain my healthy lifestyle and to ensure i'm getting enough fruits and especially vegetables and leafy greens into me but the reason why i believe the nama j2 is the best juicer ever created because it it does what juicero was not able to do right once again, the goal of both these companies were to get people to drink more juice. Juicero took the route that, hey, we could make it easy because we could already, you know, chop up the produce, put it in packs, sell people the packs. You could take the pack, put it in here. It scans a QR code to make sure it wasn't expired, which is part of their whole system. And I think the packs only had like an eight day shelf life, which was terrible. And if the if it expired without you juicing it, then you couldn't even use this to press it out, although you could still <laughs> squeeze the bag out. Um, but it failed because people didn't want to pay the five to eight dollars per pack um, and also too after you learn after the people learn you can just squeeze the juice out of the pack without even the machine <laughs> that just got really silly so they failed although it was easy because there was literally no cleaning and no prep you could put the bags in it cost you more money you know five to eight dollars for an eight ounce glass of juice you know that's probably even more than a juice bar would charge or maybe the on par with a juice bar right and that's where you know the nama wins the pie literally because they made juicing easier than any other preceding juicer that has come before it and the reason why is because they actually have a hopper in here that you can literally load up with produce that i'll be doing in a second to share with you guys how easy this machine is to use now, you know, a lot of juicers, you got to sit there and push each produce item into the juicer. Many juicers may be high speed juicers and they're really loud, so you can almost go deaf using them. But it'll, most juicers, you got to literally sit there for the whole time you're using it. The really amazing thing about the NAMA J2 is that you could load up this hopper and literally walk away. Leave the room, leave the juicer running in your kitchen without being attended for, you know, several minutes maybe four to five minutes come back and you're gonna have a whole glass of juice right in the same time that the nama could probably make about 16 ounces of juice 
the Juicero would have made only eight ounces of juice because a whole cycle in the Juicero, when I timed it, took about three and a half minutes. In three and a half minutes, you could juice a whole glass, actually, or a quart of watermelon juice, for example. Watermelon tends to juice a lot faster, as does things like citrus, whereas if you're trying to juice carrots, that can take a little bit longer. But literally, you walk away, you come back, and your juice is ready. That's the same thing. You press the button, you walk away, the juicer's pressing out that pack, you come back, and your juice is ready. Then you have to open this up, take the pack, and chuck it. Yeah, with the Nama, you know, you will have to clean it, although I will show you guys the handy auto-cleaning function that most people don't know about that makes cleaning a breeze on the Nama J2, right? And I want you guys to take ownership of your health. I almost lost my health. That's, that's why I'm so passionate, even to this day, about share with you guys the latest juicing innovations and technology so that you guys can get more juice in you because juicing is one of the reasons why I am alive here today. I had complement immune deficiency, put me in the hospital, almost lost my life, and when I came out of the hospital, I needed to learn how to build up my immune system and juicing was a integral and big part of my diet after I got sick so that I rarely ever get sick these days and have a strong immune system, stronger than ever before, because I am maxing out my vegetable, leafy green, and even my fruit consumption through eating them, but also through juicing them. And I know a lot of you guys may not like your vegetables, but you know, let's face it, there are published studies showing that vegetables are correlated with healthier and more importantly, longer lives, especially the leafy green vegetables that most people don't eat. This week, earlier this week, I was drinking like literally 10 heads of baby artesian romaine lettuce in one quart of juice you know, maxing out my lettuce consumption every day. And you guys could do this also with the Nama J2 because it does make it easier for you guys to juice. So many people have realized this. That's why the Nama J2 is the best selling juicer being sold in America based on my 2022 sales figures. And I don't, I want you guys to not be left out and I want you guys to get a Nama J2. You know, I've shown how other juicers can be challenging and difficult, time consuming and messy to use. Link down below to my video where I, sh I say this juicer will get you juicing again if you previously had a juicer and didn't use it because it was too complex, complicated and time involved to use. That being said, if you're a new person into juicing, right, this is the easiest juicer to use because literally you can walk away. That is really the secret about the Nama J2. And that's why people use it more based on the customer feedback that I've gotten. They're like, John, I had this other juicer before and I never really used it because it was a pain to push produce in and cleaning. And now that I got the Nama J2, it is, it's a breeze to use. And I actually juice more because of it. And that's what I want. That's what the, the, founder of Nama wants for you guys, you know, they want you guys to get healthier. So I think he has basically, you know, won the lotto on making a machine to do that. Now, let's, you know, I don't, I don't know how long it took Juicero to come up with their model, but I do know that Nama was literally in development for three years. And I know they definitely did not raise $120 million like Juicero and they came up with a better mousetrap in my opinion, because you don't have to buy the bags. Once they sell you the juicer, you know, hey, you bought the juicer, now you just buy your produce, you can even grow your own produce in your backyard like I do to juice it, and you don't have to keep paying money, this is not an internet connected juicer by any means like the Juicero, where they failed, right, and the founder of Nama is a lot more cooler than the dude from Juicero, you know, from my interactions with them. Oh, and before I go on, I want to let you guys know that if you guys want to get Enama before I even get into juicing, I want to save you guys $55. I mean, my company is called Discount Juicers, so I always try to get you guys the discount and the hookup. So I'm going to share with you guys a $55 off coupon code you guys can use to get the Nama J2 uh, should you want to buy it. You can use the coupon code BEST55. That's B-E-S-T-5-5. We're going to throw it right up here. On the screen, you want to go to namawell.com, use that coupon code BEST55 to save $55 off the Nama J2 juicer to make it definitely cheaper, a lot cheaper than the $700 you would have had to spend on a juicer that is now uh, defunct and no longer works. And the Nama actually has a 15 year warranty to ensure that you'll be using the juicer for the next 15 years, right? against any manufacturer's defects. Now, of course, if you break it on your own, that's not be covered. But if the machine breaks due to no fault of your own, you are covered. So you know what? 
I encourage you guys to buy a good machine the first time. You could buy an inexpensive juicer, you know, on a big box website for, made in China that maybe have a one year or 90 day warranty, then you could juice for a little bit, then it breaks and you gotta buy another one. Now you've created, you know, landfill garbage that came from China. The Nama, on the other hand, is actually made in South Korea in a factory that's making juicers for over, well over 20 years now with high quality parts that are durable and built to last. So I wanna thank you guys who will use my coupon code because that is how I'm able to pay my video editor, you know, buy my produce, power my, pay my light bill and all my different bills that I have in life. So I appreciate you guys so much who will use my coupon code so that I can continue my educational work to share with the world on my YouTube channel here about juicing and juicers. Also be sure to check some of my links down below to other videos I've made using the NAMA J2 where I bulk juice, juice for one hour, you know, on a weekend day to make like five or six quarts of juice that I could drink during the week. I also show you guys my tips on how to store your juice the best way possible so you minimize the oxidation and maximize your nutrients. The links down below to that video. I also share with my tips and experience about uh, creating your own juice recipes and you know what not to do when you're juicing your fruits. Once again, links down below to those videos as well where I share all my knowledge that I've learned over 27 years of juicing. So I guess, you know, so I'm gonna say that the Nama is the best juice ever created at this time because, it, because they have succeeded in getting more people to juice and get more people excited about juicing, right? Juicero these days is the laughing stock and Nama J2 is the juicer you want if you guys wanna make serious health changes to lose weight, to get healthier, to rebuild your immune system like I did in this new year and beyond. So now I wanna show you guys how easy the Nama J2 juicer is to use with basically zero produce preparation, much like on the Juicero where you would actually take a bag that you would actually have to end up throwing away, although they did say it was recyclable and I question that highly. You know, all the pulp that comes out of your Nama J2, you can compost in your compost pile. You could like literally feed the pulp to your dog, provided you're not juicing things that dogs aren't supposed to eat. You could, you know, use the pulp to make crackers or put it into baked goods or make a stew out of it. Or, you know, if you can't do any of that, you could always dig a hole in your backyard and just bury your pulp and the worms will find it and eat it, <laughs> which is a lot more sustainable than the bag that the Juicero created. Plus, of course, when you buy produce, you guys could get, uh, you know, and make juices for the lowest price available. Today, I'm just going to juice baby carrots. I love baby carrots because they come pre-washed and ready to go. So once again, I'm not having to wash carrots or peel them or chop them or nothing. And then I'm also just using some apples. You know, you could wash your apples like I did today or just pick them off your tree or get them from the store and just toss them in there, right? Whatever you want to do. So this is how easy the Nama J2 is to use. We're going to just take, you know, let's see, two, three apples, throw some apples in there. We're going to dump some of these carrots in there, you know, we're gonna go ahead and put a couple more of these apples in there. We're gonna dump some more carrots in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and maybe put uh, two more apples in there. All right, once we got that all loaded up, we literally just have to shut the top. And then all we have to do is turn the machine on, right? There's an automatic processing blade that basically comes around and chops up everything in the juicer and then feeds it into the juicer at a very slow rate so you create a very high quality juice. So now that the machine is working, the cool thing is I'm just gonna get up and leave the room and let the machine work on its own without me even being here. And that's how this machine will save you guys time because you could go and do other things, other chores around the house, read a book, call a friend, do your Instagram, whatever you guys wanna do. You don't have to sit there and push produce into the machine like you have to do on virtually every other juicer out there. So as you guys can see, the juicer has basically emptied its own self of the hopper and juiced all the produce. I think we're just gonna go ahead and put in the last few apples in there, as well as the rest of the carrots. And we wanna go ahead and let the juicer juice the rest of this recipe on up.
So the NEMA J2 has just finished up emptying the hopper. Now I want to give you guys some tips. You want to watch and make sure the juice basically stops uh, flowing, which basically it's a slow drip. More importantly, you want to check to see this side to make sure the pulp is stopped moving out of the machine. If the pulp is stopped moving out of the machine, that's your indication that there's nothing left in the juicer for it to juice, and you could go ahead and then turn it off. Another tip I want to give you guys is I always like to tip this machine up and then basically tip it out because you'll get some residual juice that's still left in this bottom collection bowl. So you guys can see in no time at all we made a quart of juice plus a little bit more for me to taste for you guys right now. Mm-mm. Carrot apple, one amazing recipe. You could add some lemon in there or even a little bit of ginger to take the juice to the next level. So while the Juicero had no cleaning but failed because you could take out the bag with the produce and like throw it away, right? You will need to clean the Nama J2, but it is very easy to clean with my special technique I want to show you guys right now. So all you need to do is you need to basically take about um, 20 ounces or so of soapy water. So I put two squirts in there from my uh, dish soap, put in the water in there. We're going to go ahead and open this um, hatch up and we're just going to go ahead and pour, make sure your spout cap is closed. We're just going to go ahead and pour this water, the soapy water, in to the juicer itself, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this pitcher that had the water, put it underneath where the spout comes out. Once again, this is closed. We're going to shut the lid and turn the machine on, right? What's going to happen is this juicer has been designed so that you actually you could put liquids in the top here. You can't do this in every juicer. Some juicers will just start leaking out the seams. But they designed this specifically to be able to do this task for you guys. What you'll see is the water is rotating around in that top little hopper. Slowly but surely, the the water is flowing into the bottom part of the juicer and going between all the different parts into the juicing screen, into the auger. Uh, it's literally cleaning itself for you so that you could, you know, do less scrubbing. You can literally leave the machine running like this for several minutes as it virtually auto cleans itself. And then you're going to come back and I want to show you guys actually the final rinse and scrub you'll need to do on the J2 after it has cleaned itself. So the machine has been running for several minutes and now the time is to basically open up this little cap here and you can see all the dirty water coming out because the juicer basically rotated all the, wa the soapy water inside itself to literally partially clean itself so that you do not have to. You're going to just like let this sit for a little bit longer to kind of get any residual liquid uh, to drop through and come through the machine as you guys can see it's still dripping out all right once the water has stopped dripping out of the machine we're gonna go ahead and then turn off the machine and we're gonna go ahead and lift this up and once again i want you guys to get all the water dripped out of there so it's easier for you to clean uh, once that's fully done dripping we're gonna go ahead and shut that and now i'm gonna show you guys actually what you will need to clean on the nama j2 i like to basically put the sink on the high pressure spray function in the kitchen and then spray all the parts clean. I take a little uh, dish soap on a brush and then brush all the parts clean. So let's go ahead and show you guys. So here we got a little bit of soapy water, very little particulate, so quick rinse on that. We're gonna go ahead and then take this machine apart. You guys can see inside here we got all the soapy water already in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of pulp stuck to the walls, but just spray that down. It's already pre-soaped, so you could just basically scrub this down a little bit or just spray it off with a high pressure spray. Once again on the bottom we got once again some of that soapy water already. So just spray this down, brush it real quick, you're done. Let's go ahead and then I'll take, take out the auger. Look at this auger guys. This auger is basically just got soapy water on it if we move the soap aside, right? The auger is pretty much clean. Maybe a little bit of brushing on it, spray it down with water. There's some pulp trapped underneath this bottom part here. You'll be done. Next part, and this is the hardest part on any juicer to clean, is the juicing screen. You guys can see the outside of the screen is completely clear. Don't, you know, other juicers that have juicing screens like this, pulp may be squeezing out of the screen and literally be ground in. That does not happen on the Nama J2 that I've noticed. It's a lot easier to clean than other similar juicers that will have ground in pulp that you will have to sit there and scrub, or maybe they even give you a special cleaning tool to clean out. Of course, on the inside of the screen, you got the soapy water, and yes, there is a little bit of pulp in there that you can just basically hose down 
And then of course I do recommend still scrubbing that screen clean, uh, you know, to get it cleaned all the way. Next you have the automatic wiping blade that's already pre-soaped up and just spray this down, a little bit of brushing, you're done. And then finally you have the main juicing bowl, you guys can see the juicing bowl is pretty clean. And you're just going to go ahead and hit this little flap here. And this flap basically opens up so that you could easily clean out all the pulp, spray it down, brush it out, and boom, you're done. I estimate if you do the pre-cleaning function like I did, you could probably be done cleaning up this juicer, just spraying it down within about uh, three minutes, two to three minutes, maybe two on the short side. If you're just spraying it down three minutes, you're going to just brush it down a little bit. So once again, super easy to use, load it up. Shut the lid, let it juice without you being there, come back, run some water through it. You could leave again, let it run a couple minutes, come back, and then you're just going to go ahead and take two to three minutes to clean this machine. And once again, you guys got a full 15-year warranty on this machine. This is the juicer you guys want to buy if you guys want to make the juice in the easiest way possible. No longer do you have to sit there and push produce into the machine, wait for it to work. You could literally be doing other things, more valuable things with your time than waiting for your juicer to juice and you pushing that next produce item in. That's why I believe the Nama J2 is the best juicer ever created at this time. And of course the Juicero with all its videos was the worst. The founder of Juicero really did not get people to drink any more juice because the company is now out of business and people have paperweights. Whereas the Nama company has gotten thousands of more people juicing because it is so easy. I've seen so many people use the Nama when they otherwise wouldn't have juice. So I don't want you guys to get left behind. And if you guys are serious about juicing and taking the steps to include more, especially vegetables, leafy green vegetables and fruits in your diet because you're just one of the Americans that don't eat them, get the Nama J2 today. Your health will improve because of it. You will meet your weight loss goals if you start drinking juice instead of eating the other processed foods and junk foods that you're eating now. You'll also get a taste for vegetables so that you can continue to eat more fruits and vegetables that you don't put through your juicer, maybe through vacuum blended smoothies, maybe through salads, or just cooking other vegetables so that you eat more of them because you know the fact of the matter is clear. Research and studies show that the more vegetables you guys eat, the healthier you'll be. And part of those vegetables, or even all of them in the beginning, could be from juicing. Juicing is my favorite way and easiest way to ramp up the amount of vegetables I'm able to get in me. Literally, we just juiced two pounds of carrots and some apples that now I'm going to be able to drink. Mmm. And that tastes good. Otherwise, I couldn't sit there and eat two pounds of those baby carrots. Are you kidding me? I could have maybe ate like ten of them. But this way I'm getting more of those beneficial nutrients, especially the beta carotene from the carrots that are faster absorbed and better absorbed into your bloodstream when you juice them instead of eat them raw. Also proven by scientific published studies. So if you guys want to buy the best juicer ever created, in my personal opinion, be sure to use that link down below in the description first. Um, pin comment or in the description to go directly to the NMOL website and use that coupon code BEST55 and I'll save you guys $55 off so you can start making the life changes in this new year that you want to make. And trust me guys, NAMA is a company that will be around in the years to come to support you and will not go out of business in 16 months like Juicero. They are literally riding the wave. They create the best selling juicer in America at this time and I believe that they will be able to retain their lead into the future because they got a strong foothold and they will be also coming out with future products that will allow you guys to eat more fruits and vegetables and be, live a healthy lifestyle. So the founder of NAMA could know that he's done something good in the world to help others much like I do with my videos so that I can help you guys realize what juicer is the one that you may want to buy. Now, this juicer is not for everybody. Check my links down below. You can see where I compare it to many other style machines. I will also let you guys know that the Nama J2 is my favorite juicer. It did take me a little, bit, a little while to warm up to it to understand how to use it properly, but now I know how to use it properly. I use this machine 90% of the time, even though I have a whole collection of all the best juicers 
that have ever been created, and I also have the worst one here too. So if you guys enjoyed this episode learning about the worst juicer, and of course, the best juicer ever created, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Especially former Juicero owners, they should be getting the Nama because it's the easiest juicer to use and clean that I've ever found <laughs> playing with all the different juicers that I've ever tested in the world. Also, be sure to share this with other people that are looking for an easy juicer to use. The Nama J2 is a game changer and it's the game changer because it makes juicing significantly easier than any other juicer on the market in my personal opinion. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss my new and upcoming episodes. I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You don't know where I'll show up or what new juicers I'll be comparing or contrasting or what, or what juicing knowledge bombs I'll be dropping on you guys so that you guys can be more effective and healthier juicers for life. Also make sure to click the little bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth and knowledge over 600 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to comparing and contrasting all different major brand juicers so that you guys can get the right one for you. Links down below also in the description to videos I've made in the past with the Nama J2 including my videos on bulk juicing and how to juice fruits in the Nama J2, four easy recipes, how easy it is you could basically batch prepare your produce so that you could just wake up in the morning and dump it in the machine, turn it on, walk away, come back and your juice is ready to go so that you could drink fresh juice every day if you want. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.